Oh, oh dude. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I think Blood Crow's a little jelly right now, guys. You, you, you haven't even seen it yet, have you? You haven't even clicked it yet. Wait till you see what the hell it is. Oh my god. It's a couch, my isn't it? No, my oh, recliner ain't got shit. Oh, it's got a toilet in it, doesn't it? <laughs> That's why the only thing I don't get, don't have, I mean, but that would be so nasty. It's like it'll hey, stand your ass up for you if you need to help standing <laughs> up. It does everything. You know what's funny though, does you? I got no, that's lose. mine. Oh god, that's not my. That's not my. That's not my office chair. But it has stage two zero gravity. That's better than like jet seat pilots seats and shit. It's like massive. Nice. Just grinding out some levels, guys. We really, really want our mate, our, our magic users to get over a thousand health before we do anything. Well, once I get my video upload and everything, I'll post it in TeamSpeak and let y'all see. But it's going to take a while because I'm, I'm I'm using Sony Vegas and I suck at Sony, so I can um, play uh, MP3s through the player and make the bass vibrate through the chair. <laughs> Troll mod rules. I see you, Scott. I'm just to do this right. What you doing, bro? Let's see. Oh, I downloaded the file correctly off YouTube. Yay! Cause I gotta rip some shit. This is gonna be loud as fuck. I know it is. Yeah! Sweet. We just learned to reflect. Nice. We are in a nice area too. Getting like 2,000 plus experience per fight. I got a like this. from uh, you know, I'm trying to do something unique other than just like stick a thing on it, so yeah, I'm trying to make mine a little different. I'm get some food and I'll be back. What happens when you use cheap power supplies? Hell, man, I can go get a 750 watt C10 fucking power supply for 50 freaking bucks, and that damn thing will run forever. Um, there's a system that a friend of mine has that I built him way the hell back in 2004. Super J Dog, what's up, man? Uses while his son, his eight-year-old does for watching YouTube and playing a little bullshit blues to clues games and shit like that but oh no we've uh, been surprised it's still got the original 750 watt C-Tech power supply in it and C-Tech and a lot of people I said this earlier on the Dude, screen but I know a lot of people I was say, really happy you know, to see Rydia I was like oh my a god a gold or a pop. Rhea but came back like power like she was talking oh. C-Tech don't even do that shit and C-Tech is actually one of the largest server but yeah power Super J-Dog it's freaking sweet I'm actually, I'm ecstatic for when Rydia came back and hell they're their normal desktop power supplies are just as good as their server power supplies. I mean, you figure. 750 watt power supply that was, if I remember correctly, on the manufactured sticker was actually built in 2005. I built the system in 2006. From a gas to a, oh my god. Over 10 years yeah, old, yeah. And it's still running with no problem, and he's actually checked it with a freaking wattage meter and everything and it's still pumping the specified wattage and voltage across all rails. We got so much mithril stuff. It's just the it's just the the, the a wow. lot of companies now they just don't really give a shit on the quality of their products anymore. I mean hell. Um I reached out to AMD originally when I was having issues. 
and the vice president of AMD kind of came over and made fun of NVIDIA on my Twitter. And from there on, like, I refuse to use AMD except for what's in my desktop from my buy power. That's the only time I'll be using AMD. But eventually, I'm never going to be looking at AMD for anything. Also, power color, I let them know about their graphics cards and how I've been having issues as well. And they just said sorry for the inconvenience and that their problem was noted and has been fixed uh, within the past few months. And this was back in like, I think March or April when I made that, when I, when I sent them a message like, hey, I'm having issues. And they said they fixed them this year. So... That's the messed up thing. I remember reading something about with Power Color <laughs> that there was a series of the video cards that they had put out that there was actually a manufacturing defect. Yes, that's the ones they said are and fixed. They actually recalled them and had actually got a, and supposedly, and this is where I've got to point a finger at iPi Power and say, what the fuck are they doing? Because if they're still allowing you to have those video card, that video card in your freaking machine, and there's been a manufacturer recall due to a defect, that's all on their fucking ass, and they should be replacing those frick, that freaking video card or video cards if you had more than one in there, um, for another model with the same specs. For the simple reason, I buy power had actually put out an industry-wide recall on those series of cards. Yeah. Yeah, and they right now the only information I have is that they have replaced the motherboard and again the graphics card, and that's all I know about it. And the tech was supposed to call me back yesterday. There was a note to call me back, and they never called me back. So I tried to call the day, turns out I find out that they're on holiday. So I believe when they went out to lunch yesterday, that was the end of their day. I'm back. So I don't I don't really know what's going on until I call up on Monday, like, hey, what's what's been changed? What's been going on with the system? I need to know. And when was the last time you talked to him? Yesterday? Yeah, uh, yesterday, yes. Nothing. I'll guarantee they ain't doing nothing today, Saturday, Sunday, and they probably didn't have looked at it yet on Monday. No, and that's and that's what I mean. Is like I need to know what's happened to the system so far. Like, what was found on the, what was found with the motherboard to be wrong? Why was it changed? And, you know, I'd like to know these things. Why was the graphics card changed again? You know, what was wrong with it? You know, am I just getting a bad batch of graphics cards, or am I just having bad luck? I, I would like to know these kinds of problems myself as well. So that way I can fill you guys in like, hey, these are the ex problems I'm having. This is what's going on with these graphics cards, these parts. You know, be on the lookout for this stuff. Yeah, see, that's some messed up thing. I just, I I, I'll just put this straight out. When it comes to freaking custom built systems anymore, if I don't build it myself, I'd rather go to a local shop just for the whole thing of, you know, if something breaks, you know, all I gotta make a phone call. Most of the shops here in Spokane, anyway, I can make a phone call and be like, hey, look, you know, I'm having this problem, you know, the system is screwed up, it's not working properly, you know, I think it's the video card or whatever, you know, and. Nine chances out of ten, after they run me through the troubleshoot over the phone, they'll turn around and, you know, oh, well, yeah, it is your video card. Um, let's see if we have any more of those in stock. Oh, we don't have any more of those in stock, but we've got this one that's the same spec. We'll go ahead and, you know, we'll bring it out to you and install it in your machine and get it set up for you, no problem, you know. Um, or they'll have me say, you know, they'll say, you know, well, just bring your machine in, you know, and we'll replace it, you know, stuff like that, and it's all done right down there. And with a lot of the local shops, if you get right down to the nitty gritty and go, well, you know, what was the problem? You know, especially if you take your system in there and just leave it, you know, and you come back and pick it up and you go, hey, well, you know, what was the problem? You know, they'll get right dead down into the nitty gritty on it with you. 
Well, because they're know? giving shit about their business. Exactly. They give you true warranties. They're not going to give you warranties with a bunch of hidden fees and all that shit just to get more exactly. money out of you. And a lot of local <laughs> shops will actually go by the manufactured warranty for each freaking component. Well, I mean, I uh, think with GameCube, we're past the point of where he should have bought it. Now it's just a problem of where he bought it. Well, I'm just saying, you know, because I know he said here... You know, he's going to end up building another system, you know, and if, you know, and if he doesn't want to do it on his own, you know, I would seriously start looking at local shops. Oh, I'll be, I'll be doing it live on stream on my own. I'll be building it myself personally. He can plug and play a fucking computer together. After all of the problems I've had, I'm actually becoming extremely jaded from buying from a lot of folks unless it's individual parts with warranties and like, you know, like how Newegg has the Iron Egg guarantee. Like, it's guaranteed to work no matter what, period. And if it doesn't work, they replace it and it has an Iron Egg guarantee too. And I mean, it's like with me, I, with my case I just bought, my Rosewell Galaxy 2 that I just bought and got all my stuff in. It was supposed to come with a five and a quarter to three and a half um, bay adapter. Well, I got my bag of screws, my zip ties, you know, the manual, the warranty papers, uh, PC speaker, I got the extra fans that came with it, but my dry bay adapter was missing. It wasn't there. It wasn't in the box anywhere with the case. You know, so I get all the new egg. New egg tells me, you know, just go to Rosewell's website or to this specific website run by Rosewell. Drop in the new egg invoice number, my name, my contact information, what I'm missing. Within two days, I had an email back from Rosewell confirming what I was missing, wanting me to confirm my shipping address and my invoice number. Once I did that, I got an email back the next morning telling me that there's been a parts request put in at the um, warehouse, and as soon as they get verification that they have the part that I need, that they will be sending me the shipping information to my email and shipping the missing part out, no charge to me as it was missing when I received the case and is covered under warranty. And even with nice. this case, even if like my case side warped, or if one of my drive bay covers broke, or, you know, hell, the motherboard tray on the damn thing ends up stripping out for the uh, motherboard standoffs, you know, I could get a hold of them and tell them, and they would literally send me a whole new freaking case under warranty and a return shipping label to ship the busted case back to them. Wow. Really dumb. Asshole. Who? Oh, ass. Nah, but it's fucking neighbors firing fireworks right outside, freaking my dog out. Uh oh. God damn it, Scott. I just see what your team sheet picture is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I recognize that guy, but I can't remember what the hell he was from. Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was fit to say, Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, yeah it's Bubbles. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I love that series. Yeah, eventually, though, is you got to take that picture down or, uh, fucking, uh, um, shit. Zuzi's gonna be, um, uh, constantly fapping to that thing. Um, I think he already copied and pasted it, so it's a little late now. Um, let's see. Who is Blaine619? Is that someone here in the channel? TeamSpeak? Um, I, I don't know who they are specifically. I see them on CGN saying, hey. Well, I'm, at, I'm responding. Hey, yo, what's up? I ain't nobody I know. Outsider. 
destroy you. Sorry if we have any jitter, guys. Jesus, my dog's quivering underneath my desk like I just yelled at him. I mean, yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll probably get a lot of randoms hitting you up. Yeah, and it what's really nice is it's CGN. Like, this is, you know, Collection Gaming Network. This is a social network for gamers. Um, what's even awesome is, you know, it's it's for everyone. Anyone who plays games. This is awesome. Um, so I, I believe this is another individual. Go ahead. I said I just got a message from the same guy. I just logged into uh, CGN and... It was uh, in my instant message. He sent me an instant message too. Who, Blaine? Blaine six one nine. Yeah. Looks like he he uh, screams. He's been screaming Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, here on his profile too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Sounds like a dating website. Well, I mean, you can look at them and, like, whenever their status goes live, either from CGN or from your social media, the statuses transfer over to the other networks. Because you can link everything to CGN. So that's what I did. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. Um, we spoke I'm, I'm with... i the asshole, which I play so well. Oh, yeah. And uh, Plants, it was awesome. Like, speaking with uh, Z from one of the creators of CGN, uh, it was really nice to just hear his side. Like, you know, one, how did you find us? And two, what is CGN? And he was more than happy to explain his side of everything and what CGN is and how, how they want to promote the smaller folks here on Twitch. It's kind of nice. I just noticed something. When I retweeted that tweet from Scott, it actually freaking uh, posted it on the CGN. You said what? When I retweeted Scott's post, uh, Scott's tweet, Todd High Power, it actually posted it on the CGN. Nice. Hey, yes, sir. Scott, I got something for you. Hold on. Yeah, just stop. Oh, here you go. Are you you can hear that, that whole creepy giggly. Dennis, where are you? That is super loud. That should be my theme song when I come into your stream. Automatically when I show up. <laughs> oh, oh! I didn't know I was supposed to have theme music for everyone. <laughs> you gotta love Dennis Leary, man. I do believe I should. Have, at least I should have theme music of anybody of any of your viewers. Should be me. Now, see, if you're gonna do theme music when somebody comes in, I request when I come in, since my name is the Grim Reaper, and I have been told uh, that. If I was a little bit taller, it has to do the eyeliner and the freaking hat and the freaking trench coat that I'd look like the fucking Undertaker. I think if I know when I come in the channel, it should play the freaking Undertaker thing from WWE. And now since everyone's making a request, none of it's gonna happen. Thanks, Grim Reaper. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Because then I'd be like, well, now we're going to do any of it because we don't have to do any, all of this work of having to put all this shit together. That's all right. All I want to do is have a little fun, but it's got to get ruined. Oh, One it's person has to screw it up for everyone. That's just how it goes, right? Yeah. Well, you know, they say I am the Grim, you know, like they said when I was in, in the military, I am the Grim Reaper. I am the bringer of death, so I think I may have just killed it. Nah, they called me the Boomba. Not in the military, but in the nursery when I was born. Ha! <laughs> Giggity. The nurses hung a little sign that said, I am the Boomba. 
That's just because I was a really big baby. In more ways than one. <sighs> We're gonna go for about another eight minutes, guys. We're just gonna grind out and have more discussion. However, we are going to find somebody, so stick around. We also have end of stream giveaway happening. That is coming back. Um, I did say that was gonna happen, and I'm gonna stick with it. My end of stream giveaways are gonna be permanent. So what am I gonna win? Because you know I'm gonna win, because I'm a hack of Cracker Slacker. Oh, oh. I, no, no, I think y'all are gonna like my, my all I think y'all gonna like me. Belonging to me. <laughs> I should just win because I rock. But... See, people just want to win. They expect to win. Jeez. <laughs> it's different between the expectation of winning and just knowing you're going to win because you rock. That's me. I know I'm going to win because I am troll. I am troll. Hear me roar. Rawr. Man. I'm sorry, I don't need any new games right now. I'm kind of occupied by the one I'm currently playing. <laughs> Just a little bit. When, by the time I'm done, I'm going to own this entire server. The merchant class always wins. Oh, man. I got to... Oh, this, this intro video will make it for Albion so fucking cool. I've been learning how to do simple stuff like, you know, split videos, download. I, videos, the luckiest. Edit out what I want, blah, 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 right? So, I found an Albion Online track that was an original, like, four game keys here in one night. Um, theme song. <laughs> but they took it out because they made a different one and they liked it more. So, I'm using an old school track of theirs, and they're not going to expect this to be on a video because no one uses it, right? I'm going to blow their minds. Mind blown. No. Um, for those of you who don't know, guys, here in the TeamSpeak that's, you know, speaking right now, these are friends of the Grin and Militia, friends here of the channel. We've got Blood Crow, we've got our mod Scott Plants, Grim Reaper, um, I believe Doja's here, and a few others. So guys, have fun, ask questions, and feel free to talk to any of these guys. That's like Lee just said in chat, she's back, so she's here, she's just not in the TeamSpeak channel, but when I'm keyed up, she can talk, though, because she's right here. <laughs> true, true. What's up, Leah? Oh, yeah. So I was running mod last night on Burke Black's stream. Um, the mod over on his stream as well. And... He had some asshole come in last night, started calling him a fat ass, but he was censoring out ass so that the bot, so the Kraken bot wouldn't catch it. Yeah. Nobody else was paying attention to it, and I was the one that caught it, and I ended up timing his ass out for the full maximum 600 minute, or 600, uh, it said 600 minutes when I hit him. Um, and the, and the really messed up thing is, and I'm just like, what? Because, or no, it was the 10 minute ban, 600 second ban um, that I hit him on. And nobody, not even any of the senior mods said a word. Not even on the on the freaking Slack network that's set up for Burke. Nobody wow. said shit, Burke didn't even say shit. And I'm just like, I'm surprised nobody asked why the hell I timed that guy out. Well, mobs doing mob things. Moderators are doing mob things, so that's probably why no one asked. Also, uh, Blood Crow, Owen Knapp asks, Blood, why is he not streaming? Making a YouTube video. So I'm actually like editing, and, like I'm, I'm putting clips and shit and all that kind of stuff, fun, fun stuff together right now. So yeah. 
Well, basically, he's a big pussy. That's why. I oh. watched one of your YouTube videos that I was actually in the other day. The, the one when I shot you in the head with the shotgun. And then oh, yeah. Did you like that? Ass out. <laughs> that was just a simple, like, transfer over from, you know, I'm going to do a lot of those, but... This is this is my attempt at a professional video, so we're gonna see how well it works out. I don't. I know. like the one where I knock you in the eye. That was my favorite one. No, oh, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Oh, I yeah. shot him in the head, and then you shot him with the narco in the face. Yeah, right in the eye. <laughs> Wait. And then we fucked with him for a while. Oh, I heard you guys had your way with Blood Crow for a little while. Yeah, well, that's what he gets for coming over to help. <laughs> I forget what the hell blood did to me, knocking me the hell out and trying to drag my ass into the water and drown me. I don't even want to hear it, Grim. The longest time you played in this game was the night you fucked with my body when I couldn't log back in. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. Mm -hmm. That's you just, you're just jealous you don't have your bromance in game. Hey, Blood Crow, they say good luck. Well, I've done one professionalist-ish, type-ish video already, so... Alright guys, let's get ready for that end of stream giveaway. Let's do this. Get ready on, for the beard! Away? What are we giving away? What are we giving away? Do you have any World of Worship keys? I do not. I gave away all of them. Yeah, I know. They're not giving out any new ones, too, because they're selling them now. I don't know if you guys got it. All right. I got an apology letter from our friend at Wargaming. I don't know if he sent it to you guys as well. The what now? The beer. You guys get a letter from our friend at Wargaming at all? Uh, nope. No, what's going on? Uh, it was uh, it was a sorry that they could no longer do the beta keys because they started selling them, and... That they're almost coming out of beta soon anyways, but they're hopefully um, <sighs> we should get a uh, an invitation to be part of the full release. Not the beta release, but the full release. They're really not doing anything for the open beta. They're going to kind of do it soft, apparently, so that nice. it's not going to be All a strain right, so on the like, servers and shit like that. I've got to um, actually look, look at what I have. I think so. It might be soft opened right now. We have now. a lot of games, guys. We have a lot. So I'm looking. But they are, uh, when they do the full open and stuff like that, they're going to do a big celebration when they do the full coming, like, into full retail. And we should receive um, an invitation to be part of a special event for that. Which oh, includes cool. streaming with the devs, um, interviews with the devs, like the anchor report type of stuff, those guys coming into your streams and talking with you about the game, playing with you, um, special streamer-only events, like on special streamer-only servers. So you'll be able to play against other streamers. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, they want to do something where they can get a bunch of streamers together under one server and have a bunch of competitions between those those streamers who have been supportive of the game and it's in its oh, a closed beta. That's what Mr. Moon did with Dark. He that's did that with Grand Theft Auto too, didn't he? He had a Grand Theft Auto server. That's why he's got all the Fairlight and all the top streamers and shit playing on his server. All right, so Fairlight Excalibur, we're going to have this run for five minutes. Himself. One for like a mod server, a PvP one where he's gonna like jack up try, uh, taming times and resources, so it's like super easy to do. And then he's gonna do like an invite only RP server. Out there right now. <laughs> I still and think we need to take this to it because if you've seen Blood, you probably haven't seen this, but they're changing the way the PvP and the PVE works. That basically what you can do is you can have um, a uh, in the PvP, you'll be able to do alliances with other tribes, so basically you won't be able to attack their animals. And you'll be able to do cross-tribe building, so we could have like a common like multi-tribe building between two allied tribes. And on the PvE side, if you can do PvE and then also have tribal warfare, where basically the tribe owner can declare war against another tribe and open up PvP against specific tribes. So I was thinking maybe in the future yeah. we we'll change this over to a PvE in, server guys, with that tribal warfare because that kind of fits our rules a little bit better with uh, you know open to all limited up PvP to 2, except tickets. for events, the PvP events. Um, and not even have to do all that. Not have That's to cool. worry about scheduling events or yeah, anything like that. Or having nice. war against the tribe. Yeah, or even having like a set set of rules. 
you know, just by the server type, people will know how it is. Because I really think right now the current rules we have has have helped grow the randoms that are coming in, and you know, some new tribes coming onto the server. Well, it should even more <sighs> this tribe now. They got more people than we do that play. What up, Water Borny? What's up, man? We have a giveaway going. It's the end of stream, my but friend. But they're not better than us. They're so, just more of exclamation them that play on ticket, basis. space, and the number of you DC up to we two thousand that you want to put in, my friend. <laughs> I a gunny. Oh, I'm putting in the last yep. of my metal walls, and I will be fucking done meddling the space up. Damn, how do you finish so quick? I did a major trade to get a bunch of metal ingots. It was a real hassle to try to get back over here. And uh, then I had to do a bunch of haggling to try to get my hands on enough keratin and chitin for me to make the cementing paste. And I basically spent early this morning just crafting a shitload of metal walls, metal ceilings, behemoth What was the gates, giveaway for again, I Anthony? I didn't catch it. I... It is Goat Simulator, my friends. Goat Simulator. <sighs> oh, God, we know what you're going to do with that. That's a Scottish Ooh. game, if I ever heard one. I've uh, you can run around. Right you can be a toaster and kick stuff. <laughs> like, that you can be anything. Game to play. I came too late. Like the physics oh, and water morning. In that, it's just fucked up. Um, feel just, free to jump right. in. Even one ticket can win it, guys. I've seen it. Guard. Well, they do say that the goat vagina is the closest to a human. And then they did, uh, they How also the did the that? same company, did Christmas Shopper. Was it the Marine Corps? Christmas <laughs> Shopping Simulator. And, uh, it's basically a goat simulator, but instead they have Christmas shoppers, people going around through stores with all the same physics and everything involved. Fucking hilarious game to play. <laughs> that's that's funny. It's like that game uh, was. <laughs> nice, like Terraria is addictive as you know. You know what? Like Heck yeah, it is. Catch or whatever. Same concept with the Deadliest crazy cat? physics. Dadliest catch? That sounds like a dating scene. <sighs> yeah, it's Dadliest catch. Octo dad, Dadliest catch. Oh, Basically, geez. the dad of the family is an octopus that walks around and has to go do certain tasks and ends up getting fucked up in the process. And the physics are really weird. He gets hit by a car and he goes flying and flipping through the air. Kind of like the physics in this game are. <laughs> you know, where you barely touch something and it goes soaring away on you. This guy. Like a dating site for women. Octo Dad. Apparently, Blaine is not a bot. He's a real individual. He's been playing. Uh, let's see. What did he say? Uh, oh, just playing Blaine. some Batman, trying to make new friends. What about you? Not much. I, I, me playing more Final Fantasy uh, Four on Steam. He was I like, "Oh, cool. So, do you stream too?" I'm like, "Yeah, I stream every day." And I don't I don't think he realized it. I am Buttman. Oh You probably are a Buttman. You are a Buttman. Maybe 36 you know hour Terraria stream like GameKey did with Ark. Nice well, deluded Raven. <laughs> hey, didn't say she didn't enjoy it. Giggity. Nice man. Congrats on 36 Must hours. Be jelly That's a lot. Jam don't jiggle like that. <laughs> Find some fries with that shake. All right, got my video edited as good as I'm going to get it. Wow. Uh, I'm going right. to try to add in some stuff here. Let's see who won the raffle. It is... I didn't join because I felt it would be cheating. Grim Reaper 1979, say something in chat, my well, friend, legally. to claim your raffle winner. Right, but I know you got that game on the first fucking wow. day. Wow. Yes. All right. Um, I'll be sending it time I at the end of the stream, my friend. It was funny to watch. The end of the stream. Congratulations, guys. Thank like, you all for being here. That. Now let's go raid a streamer. Anytime, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Y'all need a cheese production emulator. Also, you gotta try Farming Simulator. That's a good game, too. All right, let's see. Hmm.
Do you guys want to see some Terraria action, or do you guys just not care and you want to see a new streamer? Let's see. You talking about who you're going to host? Yeah, for our first host. I'm actually looking at a lot of our folks here. We have a lot of people. We've got folks right. playing Albion. We've got folks playing World of Warships. Terraria. Let me look at my list really quick of people I got and see who I might have that might that you haven't hosted yet. <laughs> Ro Phoenix, if he's on, I like that guy. Um, Ro Phoenix is on. Uh, actually, a lot later than us. Like he's on. He starts at yeah, like one in the morning our our time. It's only eleven thirty eight here. <laughs> yeah, true. I didn't think I didn't know if he was on or not. Um, I believe he's in Vancouver. Canada? Yeah, he's from Detroit, though. We, me and him were talking. Yeah, Burke Black Canada. is streaming right now. We could host Burke Black. Ooh, he's playing Fallout 3, too. Oh, hey, 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 I got one. Wait, 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 wait. Try, try this one. I think you should, like, Burke Black, I love him, one of my favorite streamers, but I I think you should host and, and like, raid smaller people. That have yeah, this models. is a smaller streamer. Ooh. I'm gonna post it in Teamspeak chat right now. I'm sure you're familiar with him. Ooh, yeah, let's go raid him. All right. Yeah, well, Ro is good people. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna take right. at least an hour. So all I'm gonna get off for a little bit and take a break. And since my sleep schedule is all fucked up, hell, maybe at midnight I'll get on and do some World of Warships. And then after I stream that for a little bit, I'll probably get back on Albion or whatever. All right, so here's how this is gonna work, guys. We're gonna, I'm gonna put the the Twitch streamer in chat. I'm gonna put his link in chat. However, you guys are gonna wait for this signal. The arcade is now open. Before you guys go in there and spam game raid. If you guys have emotes, feel free to spam the crap out of them. I know our friend is gonna love it, and he definitely likes coming in onto the channel and hanging out with us. So, guys, here is, is the streamer. Oh, you'll Wait, see. So you'll I, see. I can't look at the stream yet. I want to know if I should load it. Zeno. It's it's Zeno. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. So. But I said smaller streamers. Yeah, Deluded Raven. I am done I mean, for the night. But here's the message. It'll be a game raid, just like that. So load up into his stream, and guys. Get over there. Fifty followers. Ooh. All right, guys. So What's thank you point? for hanging out, having a good time with uh, us. Tomorrow point. is going to be a 12-hour Support the Truth charity stream. Point. So, guys, cool let's game. get to I it. I bought it because of watching him stream it. Thank you for having us, some really cool mods you know, for hanging it, out so. with us. And, guys, this is going to be on YouTube today. I don't like mods. Thank man. you so much.